Yesterday 7 p.m. Updated yesterday 11.01 p.m. Scroll Staff Share Tweet Email Reddit Print Share Tweet Email Reddit Print FIFA World Cup by Scroll Staff Published yesterday 7 p.m. Updated yesterday 11.01 p.m. FIFA Join us tomorrow for what promises to be a rollicking day for football fans. Egypt and Uruguay start proceedings at 17.30 East followed by Iran facing up against Morocco at 8.30 East. The marquee game between Spain and Portugal will kick off at 11.30 East. WhoScored.com, at WhoScored June 14, 2018 Most One-Sided Victories in Italy vs USA 7-1, Rome 1934, Russia vs Saudi Arabia 5-0, Moscow 2018, Brazil vs Mexico 4-0, Rio 1950, France vs Mexico 4-1, Montevideo 1930, Sweden vs Mexico 3-0, Solna 1958, Arkabatacharya at Hylage. Google, June 14, 2018 Saudi actually saw more of the ball. Russia simply did more with it. Image credit, FIFA Denis Cherchev is awarded the man of the match full-time, Russia 5-0, Saudi, Arabia what a start to the tournament. The under-fire hosts answer their critics in emphatic fashion. Their only dampener from this encounter was Zagoy of limping off and might miss the rest of the tournament. No problem, said Russia as they had two substitutes register on the score sheet. Cherishev might have scored one of the goals of the tournament and Golovin might have added another 20 million to his price tag with today's performance. Saudi simply shuddered in front of the arc lights and were brutally punished. It will not get easier against Uruguay and Egypt. Saudi Arabia's misery continues. What a curler from Golovin, who has had a dream evening at Moscow. Once again, we doubt if most keepers in the world would have stopped that. The ball went to the left of Abdullah, who could do little to stop the ball from going in. The referee also blows the full-time whistle. 93 feet goal, Russia 5-0, Saudi Arabia, cracking free kick from Alexander Golovin 92 feet Russia get a free kick from outside the box. A stunner and the pick of the evening. The substitute got the ball just outside the box, took a couple of steps and blasted a shot with the outside of the boot. No, stopping that one as it hit the top corner. What a start for the hosts, 90 feet goal. Russia 4-0 Saudi Arabia Denis Cherishev gets his second. What a peach of a goal 3 minutes of stoppage time at 87 feet Alexander Golovin gets the first yellow card of the game for a clumsy challenge. It was needless at this stage. The playmaker has been exceptional otherwise. 82 feet Saudis have the ball but their travails to play the ball out of the Russian attackers continue. The pattern continues, Golovin and co press aggressively and win the ball back. There is no sophistication to Saudi Arabia beyond possession-based positional play, which is ineffective unless you have superior individuals. With such an approach, it is unsurprising that once behind they have been unable to penetrate Russia's midfield. There is no respite for the Saudi defense, though. They continue to defend in numbers. Hatton replaces Yahya for Saudi Arabia once again, the Saudi defense is beaten in the air. Once again, it was Golovin creating the goal. Once again, it was a substitute. Brilliant delivery from the right win. Suba, who had come on just a minute earlier, thunders the ball home with a powerful header. Another one goes in. Russians are running away with this. Goal. Russia 3-0 Saudi Arabia another substitute for Russia. Suba comes in for Smolov 67 feet to nearly a third one there as Smolov was praying in font of goal. Abdullah spilled a long-range effort but the Saudi defense was alert to clear their lines on time. The Russian attacker was just a fraction away to net the rebound. 66 feet Cherishev continues to be in the thick of things. He erected a strong header goalwards, which keeper Abdullah saved with ease. Meanwhile, Saudis are finding the towering presence of Kaczynski a menace in the middle of the pitch. Substitutions for both sides. Abudla Otayov is replaced by Fahad Al-Muled, who got his team to the World Cup. 
Semedov is off for Russia. Kuzayev comes in for the hosts. 60 feet the crowd is doing their best as their team continue to stream forward into the opposition box. This, though, was after Saudi had a good spell on the ball in the middle of the park. They didn't do much with it, however. Imagine if these legends got together 55 feet great chance for Saudi. Al Sahalawi from the right delivers a teasing ball into the box that eluded the Russian backline and went to the far post. All it needed was a feather touch, which Tazir Al Jassim couldn't provide at the far post. That was tantalizingly close. 51 feet the attacks keep pouring in from the hosts, who are showing tremendous verve and zest in the opposition box. Alexander Semedev, from just outside the box, controls it and smashes it goalwards. The ball went a few inches over the crossbar. 49 feet Smolov nearly ran into space but won a corner for his side. Gazinski won the ball back for his side and passed to Jerko, who played a lovely ball over the top for the Russian forward. 37 feet Saudis continued to be sloppy on the ball as the Russians continue to bomb forward with purpose. This could be a long evening for the Asian Giants. Highest scoring first halves in the history of France, Mexico 3-0, 1930, full-time, 4-1 Italy, USA 3-0, 1934, FT, 7-1 Germany, Costa Rica 2-1, 2006, FT, 4-2 Russia, Saudi Arabia 2-0, 2018, Arka Bhattacharya, at Heilage. Google, June 14, 2018 HT. The CSKA Moscow midfielder is one of the brightest talents in the country and has been linked with Juventus recently. Shining star in the making, 22 years old, grinpick.twitter.com slash f6 kibes, Roro Omenstro, trademark sign, at Roro Mew. MUFC 10, June 14, 2018 The second half is ready to get underway. The players are out on the pitch. Image credit, FIFA Russia have clearly dominated proceedings, image credit, FIFA Sherishev picks out the top corner. Saudi Arabia are comfortingly awful, Gary Leinker, at Gary Leinker, June 14, 2018 Halftime, Russians run down the clock to the halftime whistle. There are some drooping shoulders that are visible in the Saudi camp. Russians have clearly been the better team and are deservedly 2-0 up. Saudis need to show a bit more courage on the ball. Packed stadium give a huge roar of approval, 42 feet a bit of fortune in that one for Russia, who are now in cruise control. The pressing game worked in their favor. In a quick counter-attack akin to Klopp's Liverpool, Golovin won the ball and made a good run into the box. His final ball to Sherashev was a little delayed but the substitute still managed to keep possession and smash a thundering shot into the top corner. Goal, Russia 2-0 Saudi Arabia, Denis Sherashev doubles his side's lead 39 feet The Russian front three continue to press the Saudi defense, who are under considerable amount of pressure. Alan Zagoyevov. He missed Euro 2016 with a fractured metatarsal, missed the Confed Cup in 2017 with another injury and then in the opening game of the 2018. Nothing doing, says the referee. Replays show that it was a rather soft appeal from the hosts. 33 feet once again, Russians find space in the middle and behind the fullbacks. Smolov is having a fine spell on the ball and is in the thick of things, 30 feet Saudi failed to capitalize on another half chance. They get a free kick some 30 yards from goal. A loopy ball is floated in by Salman but the header goes way over the bar. Fastest goals in. Google, June 14, 2018 13 Saudi Arabia have conceded 13 headed goals at the Grounded, Opta Johan, at Opta Johan, June 14, 2018 26 feet Cherishev is off to an encouraging start to the game as he making a surging run down the left channel. Golovin was waiting for the final ball in the box. The Saudis clear as Cherishev goes for glory. 
opening goal of the last five World Cups, Soccer Ball 2002, Diop Senegal Soccer Ball 2006, Lom Germany Soccer Ball 2010, Tisha Balala South Africa Soccer Ball 2014, Marcelo Og Croatia Soccer Ball 2018, Gazinski Russia The Russians open the scoring at the 21st. Twitter.com slash wfkkh one zaid Squawka News at Squawka News June 14, 2018 Denis Sheryshev has come on for the injured Zagoyev. 22 feet oh dear, what do we have here? Alan Zagoyev has collapsed on the turf and is clutching his hamstrings. It does not look good and the Russian playmaker is limping off the field. This may well be his last appearance. 20 feet 0. Saudi nearly leveled things up in the game. Al Sahalawi just needed a feather touch to take the ball past Doc and Fayev. It was a sweeping move that started in their own half. Yuri Gazinski is the first player to score the opening goal of the Scotland in 1998. The hosts start the party. Twitter.com slash Bivs on Squawka Football at Squawka June 14, 2018 15 feet There was nearly a second for the Russians The Saudis somehow survive as there is a mix-up between two Russian forwards in the penalty box. It was a quality move from the Russians. Zabinin and Zhirkov traded passes from the corner. The ball came back to the former, who found space and delivered a pinpoint cross from the left. Gazinski rose above the defense to head the ball home. 11 feet goal, Russ 1-0 saw, Gazinski scores the first goal of the World Cup 8 feet more Russian possession as the Saudis fail to clear their lines. Golovin on the left wing is seeing a lot of the ball and is combining well with his number 10, Alan Zagoy of 6 feet Saudi gets space up front and have a brief spell of possession. However, Russia win the ball back and put Saudi under the cosh, 3 feet Russia have had the lion's share of possession in the early stages here. They won a corner in the second minute, which was taken by Zhirkov. There are signs of nerves from both teams. We are ready for kickoff World Cup, still the greatest opening ceremony moment of all time. Diana Ross fails from the penalty spot at USA 94. With hindsight, she was overconfident. A feint here, a dummy there, sometimes you've just got to put your foot through it, son. Pick.twitter.com slash axga 4 rk proper football at Sid underscore Lambert, June 14, 2018, we putin'd a lot of effort. You putin a lot of endu. Hopefully the players will putin lots of goals, Vladimir Putin opening. Following their 2-0 win against Tunisia in 2002, they have drawn two and lost three in their last five games in the World Cup. More fun facts, Japan's 3-1 win over Denmark in the 2010 World Cup was the last time an Asian side won in the showpiece event. The players have reached the tunnel. We are all set to rumble. Who thought did Robbie Williams just flip the bird there? Sergei Ignishevich, at 38 and 335 days will become the oldest player to appear for Russia or USSR in a World Cup match. Robbie Williams has taken over. He belts out his hit number from the 90s, let me entertain you. Also read, Mexicans cast a spell, a joke on the Azurian more another fun fact, no host nation has ever lost in their opening game of a World Cup. 15 teams have won their games. There have been 6 draws and this includes co-hosts of 2002, South Korea and Japan. The opening is ceremony is ready to get underway in Moscow Russia Akinfeyev, Fernandez, Kutepov, Igainsvich, Zhirkov, Gazinsky, Zogman, Semedev, Golovin, Zagoyev, Smolov, Saudi Arabia, Almayuf, Alberic, Oz, Hasawi, Om, Hasawi, Al Sharani, O D A Y F, Al Dazari, Al Faraj, Al Jassim, Al Shiri, Al Salawi, welcome to Zalatan, Russia. Good news, Liverpool, Mo Salah, Egypt and fans of players who score a lot of goals. Egypt's talisman is ready to tear the wing in Russia and is almost 100% fit, says coach Hector Cooper. Take a look at how Saudi Arabia announced their squad. There is a Mali Yalom bit too. Fun fact, the only meeting between the Russia and Saudi Arabia was a friendly in October 1993. 
Saudi Arabia won the game by a handsome 4-2 margin. Germany are tipped by many to retain the title. Here's an interesting stat, have reached four consecutive semi-finals more than any country in the World Cup history. Have topped their group for eight consecutive World Cups, more than any other nation in history. Have reached eight World Cup finals, more than any other country in the history. Has scored 224 picked out twitter.com slash 2mzzsxt8si Bayern Munich fans at fans off Bayern FC June 12, 2018 Get ready to rumble. All you history aficionados, here is a look back at all the additions in brief, starting from the 1930 World Cup. Hello and welcome to the live updates of the first match of the FIFA World Cup 2018 in Russia. Hosts Russia get the ball rolling against Saudi Arabia at the completely refurbished 80,000 capacity Luzhniki Stadium in Moscow. Russia is spending more than 11 billion euros on hosting football's showpiece, the most important event in the country since the 1980 Moscow Summer Olympics. On the field, Russia and the Saudis do not represent the most glamorous opener, they are the two lowest ranked teams in the tournament. The Russians have dropped to 70th in the world. Coach Stanislav Shershasov is under immense pressure. His side have gone winless in seven games and the side have slipped to 70th in the world. Public scrutiny will also be intense, we have to take all the criticism and turn it into something positive, Shershasov said. Support our journalism by subscribing to Scroll here. We welcome your comments at letters at scroll.in. FIFA World Cup Football Russia vs Saudi Arabia FIFA World Cup 2018 Sponsored content by published June 8, 2018 6.15 a.m. Nexa Share Tweet Email Reddit Print Share Tweet Email Reddit Print On certain forums on the internet, heated discussions revolve around the color of number 9 or the sound of strawberry cupcake. And most forum members mount a passionate defense of their points of view on these topics. These posts provide insight into a lesser-known, but well-documented, sensory condition called synesthesia, simply described as the cross-wiring of the senses. Seats can see, music, taste, paintings, hear, emotions, dot and experience other sensory combinations based on their type. If this seems confusing, just pay some attention to our everyday language. It riddled with synesthesia-like metaphors, to go green with envy, to leave a bad taste in one's mouth, loud colors, sweet smells, and so on. Synesthesia is a deeply individual experience for those who have it and differs from person to person. About 80 different types of synesthesia have been discovered so far. Some synesthetes even have multiple types, making their inner experience far richer than most can imagine. Most synesthetes vehemently maintain that they don't consider their synesthesia to be problem that needs to be fixed. Indeed, synesthesia isn't classified as a disorder, but only a neurological condition, one that scientists say may even confer cognitive benefits, chief among them being a heightened sense of creativity. Pop culture has celebrated synesthetic minds for centuries. Synesthetic musicians, writers, artists and even scientists have produced a body of work that still inspires. Indeed, synesthetes often gravitate towards the arts. Eduardo is a Canadian violinist who has synesthesia. He's, in fact, so obsessed with it that he even went on to do a doctoral thesis on the subject. Eduardo has also authored a children's book meant to encourage latent creativity and synesthesia in children. Litza, a British violinist, sees splashes of paint when she hears music. For her, the note G is green, she can't separate the two. She considers synesthesia to be a fundamental part of her vocation. Samara echoes the sentiment. A talented cellist from London, Samara can't quite quantify the effect of synesthesia on her music, for she has never known a life without it. Like most synesthetes, the discovery of synesthesia for Samara was really the realization that other people didn't experience the world the way she did. Eduardo, Litza and Samara got together to make music guided by their synesthesia. They were invited by Maruti Nexa to interpret their new automotive color, Nexa Blue. 
The signature shade represents the brand's spirit of innovation and draws on the legacy of blue as the color that has inspired innovation and creativity in art, science and culture for centuries. Each musician, like a true synesthete, came up with a different note to represent the color. Next, a roped an indranil, a composer, to tie these notes together into a harmonious composition. The video below shows how Sound of Nexa Blue was conceived. You can watch Eduardo, Litza and Somara replay the entire Sound of Nexa Blue composition in the video below. To know more about Nexa Blue and how the brand constantly strives to bring something exclusive and innovative to its customers, click here. This article was produced by the Scroll Marketing Team on behalf of Nexa and not by the Scroll Editorial Team.